Zavet. All three there. <coughs> That's a uh, oh, stone. I think it is. Oh, that's a frog mouth to film it for jousting. That's a mask. I'm not sure. The Greek stuff, but I believe. Design. More ceremonial, not for practicality. Because otherwise, why would you want to risk a hit? Nice. Ah, the crucifixion. Uh, a war hammer. That's to bang open, and that's to get a good grip on the armor. So it's a more triangular shape, like a spike. Masons. Flames. Uh, armor suit for either for, I think, a young boy or a midget, maybe. This is full armor, which would be the early 1400s. Hmm, ceremonial style. Those two there. The ceremonial style have halberds. Halberds. You'll see some have exquisite design. Well, that spear, specifically. Ah, that there is a spectrum. It's wide length. The fact that the blades, those are blades, and they're projecting forward. It makes the target easier to thrust at and take off a limb or even the head. Hmm. Now, another ceremonial style halberd. But exquisitely detailed. Another full suit. Okay, yes, that's a card we use to protect the people, protect the you-know-what. Hmm, a more gilded full plate of full armor. Oh, but it looks like, hmm, still had full armor in the 1500s, even though there was also three-quarter armor. That's a right there. Those two just simply projecting. The spectrum in the back there. Now that one I think is called an ox tongue. But I'm not sure. It's sure. Bellows armor. Ah, oh, yeah, these poems here. Can identify, can tell you what they are. Okay, I think it's just a typical battle axe. Okay, that there's a halberd. One made for combat. that one. Okay. Okay, that there's a pole axe, though it resembles a halberd. It's got a more 
modular design. Also, one may that one's also made more thrusting is indicated by the longer your spear point. Okay, and that in the middle is a biddle hook. One designed for thrusting. A bill hook is basically a compromise between a machete and an axe. The advantage of a bill hook is that because of its many things and the being able to thrust like a spear and its power like an axe, you could look for a weak point in armor and with the power of an axe just break into it and, and drag a, a person in the melee. Those pieces there are to protect, they look like symbols, they're there to protect the armpits from frontal thrust. And that weapon there is a glaive. Glaive, which is basically like a big blade on a sword. Well, not exactly the best design for European style warfare. The Japanese equivalent of Naganata, which is basically a, like a katana blade on a pole, is more ideal in, in samurai warfare and much more better design. Miniature camp. Okay, now here's what I mentioned about three quarter armor, which would initiate the beginning of soldiers who would wear less armor. Apparently, beginning in the mid 1500s, though sometimes done in the early 1500s. Ah, here's a fine suit of armor. You can see how gilded it is. All that gold must have been quite an expensive piece for someone to order that. I wonder how functional it even though is it more for parade armor or just ceremonial wear. And there are increasingly detailed showing depictions. And there's the other part. These are one for the horse. <laughs> you got a structured point pot to it. Okay, now I don't know any German uh, crossbow. Ah, cannon. And so you can see how they all vary in size and design. Okay, uh, now this there is a is a jousting lance for tournaments. Tournaments. Painted. You can see the reason why they paint these black was in order to help prevent the armor from rusting. Uh, and here's some more exclusively designed pole arms. Uh, look at that nice detail. What is it? A real heyday for additions of such delicate detail. Uh, a tussle there. It, it makes it difficult for the human eye for something flushing, something to flush, so it helps when attacking for the human eye to keep track of it because it messes around with the vision while trying to pay attention to the thrusting lines. Ah, here's a go here's a okay, that's a partisan I believe. Not really functional for war at all. But this one's got gold on it. Black armor. Uh, here's three quarter armor. You can see there's no nothing to sh protect the, sh the shins. Uh, and these are mm, hand cannons. Now the reason, apparently, this is to make it. The reason it has a larger muzzle opening is so it's easier to put the gunpowder in. Mm, no. 
This is actually 18th century. Century. I might actually be. Yeah. These are designed to shoot larger musket balls. You can see the flintlock firing mechanism. Crossbow. The various types of arrows to shoot. And these are all sorts of swords. Okay, now indication will be swords that are just, you can see these are swords mainly designed, most of them, though not this one. These swords are mostly designed for thrusting. Thrusting because of the, because of plate armor, not be, being, being resistant against slashes. And it will slash pretty, pretty much. Mm. A miniature model. 